I'm an ape. Yeah. Are you Bishop? I'm not. Yeah. Uh, definitely I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm an ape. I'm an African ape. And yeah. I'm very proud to be an African ape. Yeah. And so should you. Human beings are still fish. Human beings are fish? Why, yes, of course they are. Uh, you're a single cell of annoyance that yeah. has crawled out of the primordial slime. We are scientists. We can conceive of anything. You must learn to distinguish between smut and science. When the Pope recently addressed this issue and he said, God is not a magician. Evolution in nature does not conflict with the notion of creation because evolution presupposes the creation of beings who evolve. Helpful. Uh, it is helpful because there's so many people comforted, get so much out of being uh, in the community of Catholics mm -hmm. that to have the, their head guy uh, say, we're going to join the mainstream of scientific thinking is good. Mm -hmm. But... Actually, that, is, that has been in Catholicism for a very long time, and many popes and many high-ranking members of the clergy have made similar statements going back decades, so let's not be surprised at that, okay? It's not like you did anything to engender them to you. The, that the uh, creationists also deny climate change. Oh, 
Okay, notice that creationists, generically putting all creationists together, deny climate change. Okay, and what, what, whoa, what, what, what is this? What is this here? Okay, that, this is from way, way back in the day when you called it global warming. Now you can say climate change because that way you cover absolutely anything that happens, you can call it climate change. A scientific and biblical expose of climate change. Oh, there it is. See, they were bridging the gap already. And uh, who is this by? It is by Coral Ridge Ministries and Answers in Genesis. And do they deny global warming or climate change? No, they do not. They affirm it. They just question whence it comes. That's all. That's the debate. Is how is it being caused? Who is causing it? Is it human beings? Or is it a natural change of climate that occurs cyclically? That's the real issue. But don't let that fact bother you. Just listen to Bill Nye tell you that all creationists deny climate change. Really important thing to do. And just look at this morning's stories. We have the snowstorm in the Midwest, yeah. and then we have the military building this extraordinary robot yeah. uh, for fighting a war that maybe we're not going to fight again. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there you go. See, he picked up the newspaper. Up. Oh, there's a storm. Climate change. That's not how wars are being conducted right now. So future generations are going to wonder what we're up to. That's all. You I'm also saying. talk about cloning here and, and worry about cloning. You know, cloning uh, is, just, if you understand the science of it, is straightforward. This is to say you don't want to clone yourself, because then you don't you don't have a new mix of genes going into the future. That's the whole idea of sex. Sex, sex, sex. Apparently, sex gives you enough of an advantage as a living thing that it's worth bothering. You know this expression, the lilies of the field do not toil. Do they, spend? they work pretty hard uh -huh. to make flowers. You look at a dandelion, it's working as hard as it can to make a flower. It's important to them. You, you write, too, that sometimes you have to pick up other people's trash to make the world a better place. I love that one. Two things from what my trash? dad. Yeah, what, two things from your dad. To, to Every person is responsible for his or her own actions. Yeah. Leave the world better than you found it. That, those are two good things. What trash are you picking up? Yeah. Uh, I pick up trash on the street. and no, uh, no, no, no. You're yes. quoted as saying you have to make the world better by picking up trash. Yeah. Well, trash is an overall expression, meaning uh, just because somebody else pumped all this carbon dioxide into the atmosphere it doesn't mean you shouldn't you take steps to you should do what you can do to, yeah to make it well better. not only that yeah. do all you can back to creationists and all of that i mean you know any scientists that you um that will argue with you any any serious scientists will argue no. either about religion or creation well now everybody religion has to be is for me completely separate from science <laughs> i mean we all believe in okay, something okay then that separate we can't atheism prove. from science uh uh, so if you now this is interesting the graph says creationism versus evolution 6,000 years earth age versus 4.5 billion years Which means they're lumping all creationists together. They're not Considering young earth creationists versus old earth creationists and then the bottom refers to the universe and whether it was created or evolved over billions of years, which is interesting because evolved over billions of years doesn't tell you where it came from. That's great, but whatever you feel, the Earth is not 6,000 years old and there was not a flood with every tree on Earth underwater 4,000 years ago. That's... There weren't animals two by two? No, there... Okay, you can't... <laughs> okay, but... No. Mount Ararat is snow covered. You can't no. hop from there to Australia. No. Like, no. Okay, what does that have to do with it? The Bible says that the Ark landed on the mountains, plural, of Ararat not on the one mountain that you can point to today that has been called Ararat and say, oh, it's covered with snow. What does that have to do with anything? Scientific fact that you were going to share, share it with us. What is it? My favorite scientific fact is that we are made of the stuff of exploded stars. We are made of stardust. Yeah, right, right. And so, therefore... And we got to get ourselves back to the garden, yeah. Sorry, I don't sing. It's one of the ways that the universe knows itself. Wow, the man, universe, Tyson, that's Tyson like so deep. Well, so did my old professor, Carl Sagan. Oh, that's why I was first yeah. exposed wow. to me. Back in the uh, disco era. I feel dying, we thank you. Thank you. Undeniable. Is Carl. Our Carl Sagan, the master of non sequiturs. 
you know, I think he was a good scientist when he stuck to his field, but just like so many of these guys, once they set foot beyond their field, they're done for. I mean, Sagan was famous for the statement, the motto of cosmos, the universe is all there, the cosmos is all there ever was, is, or will be. And that is a 100% faith-based statement. It is not scientific. So I remember thinking, I am just another speck of sand. And the earth really, in the cosmic scheme of things, is another speck. And the sun, an unremarkable star, nothing special about the sun. The sun is another speck. And the galaxy is a speck. I'm a speck on a speck, orbiting a speck, among other specks, among still other specks, in the middle of specklessness. <laughs> Sex, 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 sex,